However, his story is confirmed by another eyewitness, Ed Hoffman, a deaf mute who is interviewed here for the first time. I'd gotten off work early because I had a dentist appointment. I was traveling down the freeway here, and I remembered that President Kennedy was coming to visit Dallas. I parked my car here. I realized at this spot that I would be able to see Kennedy pass close by. I stood here and waited, and I was looking towards where he would be coming from. I suddenly saw two men who looked suspicious directly over there in the car park. 25 years ago, these trees did not obscure the view. From his position at the side of the freeway, Ed Hoffman could clearly see the car park area behind the grassy knoll. I saw a man standing here, wearing a black hat and a blue jacket. I saw a puff of smoke and I thought it was a cigarette, but it wasn't. He had a gun and he walked towards the railroad. He tossed the gun to the second man. Then he turned and straightened his jacket, adjusted his hat, and walked casually away. The man with the striped shirt, the railroad shirt, walked over to the electrical box with the gun. He took the gun apart. He put it in a toolbox. He then walked slowly away in the direction of the railroad track. When the motorcade passed by below me here, I realized that Kennedy had been shot. I was horrified. I saw a policeman standing on the railroad bridge and I tried to get his attention, but he didn't see me. So I got in my car and drove to the area where I had seen the two men but there were so many people there, and I couldn't find them. I went to the FBI to tell them what I had seen. They didn't want me to say anything. They offered me money to keep quiet. They didn't understand that it was more important for me to tell them what I had seen. It was hard for me to communicate with them. I do feel that the two men I saw were working together and that the one with the gun behind the fence was the man who shot President Kennedy.